food poisoning matters. This is one of the topics that I always discuss with a client with current digestive problems, or they might be asymptomatic, meaning they don't have any symptoms. And the reason why I say this is because whether you've had some food poisoning six months ago from some bad sushi, or five years ago you got bali belly on a surf trip, it matters when it comes to your digestive tract. Meaning a lot of people may go through a few days of watery diarrhea, or they might have the vomiting or both ends, whatever that is. In that situation, there's a massive stress to your GI tract. Now your body is very smartly designed, so it's going to deal with that by either getting rid of whatever you're exposed to, but oftentimes in, time, in that time period, there's some damage that occurs or possibly you could be harboring a parasite or bacteria that stays with you for a long period of time. So this is why I'm always asking people about, even if it was five, 10 years ago, did you have food poisoning, vomiting, come back from Mexico with uh, you know, Montezuma's revenge, whatever that is. And this matters because oftentimes it can stay with you and symptomatically it may show up as, oh, I notice I just get loose stool every you know, week or it lasts for three days, but then it goes back to normal and this is their sort of new normal for months, even years at a time. So this is where I suggest stool testing so that you can get an idea of where your gut microbiome is at and if there's anything overgrown or there's other markers that are off, you can take care of them. So again, at the end of the day, when it comes to your gut, you have to assess and not guess.